as you all know, and on this day, a big topic is what can be done to help the environment and battle climate change. Yeah, but there is also concern about how plans to do this may impact the economy. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner joining us live in Midtown, where Mayor Sylvester Turner just spoke at an Earth Day event. Rochelle, good afternoon. Christine Keith, good afternoon. The mayor just spoke out here about 30 minutes ago, and he talked about the city's climate change plan that was introduced about a year ago. And you guys know we've had a tough year with the winter storm, COVID-19, and several hurricanes from the past. But today we spoke to several leaders who are working on plans to go green and make sure we have a safe and positive envir environment. Take a listen. You know, Earth Day is one day, but this really is the project of a generation. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg says plans are in the works to cut emissions from vehicles to help tackle climate change. He says one of the best ways to do it is to use other ways to get around. Uh, having good transit, uh, good subway options, even good bike lanes in areas where bike uh, commuting uh, could be part of the solution. No subways here, but Houston does have bike lanes and connected trails through cities and counties parks, bayous and trails that lead to major employment centers. 1,800 miles of additional bike lanes are in the works over the next five to six years. And Secretary Buttigieg says President Biden's plan will create new jobs around infrastructure projects to improve traditional modes of transit that most Houstonians rely on. He's recognizing that on everything like constructing roads and bridges that's in the plan, improving our ports and airports. Republican Representative Kevin Brady, who represents the northern suburbs of Houston, isn't convinced it will work. He's worried more people will lose their jobs. More than 1.2 uh, million jobs will be lost um, in this. And truthfully, uh, there is a better way to fund the infrastructure. It shouldn't be on the backs of our American workers. Here in Texas, the oil and gas industry drives the economy and jobs. Secretary Buttigieg says while the goal is to become more green, traditional energy companies will still be in the mix. We're going to continue to need through this transition all forms of energy, even as things are changing to prepare for the future. And in the next hour, you're going to hear from Mayor Turner, and he's going to talk about where the city's climate change plan is right now and what he hopes in the next few years. Reporting live in Midtown, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle.